Hey everybody, I know some of you have been asking for my thoughts on Gods of Egypt. I apologize for not being able to put out a vlog when the movie was actually released. I was pretty sick at the time and just wasn't able to record anything, so had to put it off. But now I can finally get to it. And boy, this thing was a mess, wasn't it? This takes place way back in ancient times when gods walked the earth and the earth was a flat disc. The Flat Earthers must love this movie. And the king of the gods, Osiris, has decided he wants to retire and is about to pass on his crown to his son, Horus. Set, Osiris' brother, is not very happy about this, so he stages a coup and takes the crown for himself. Horus tries to stop him and fails miserably, and Set steals his eyes. The blind Horus then goes into exile, and very many of the Egyptian people are enslaved. But a young man named Beck is not about to accept his new life of slavery, and he breaks into Set's vault and steals one of the eyes of Horus, intending to return it to its rightful owner, hoping that Horus can liberate Egypt. So he steals the eye and tries to escape the city with his girlfriend, but unfortunately she gets killed off almost immediately, a little too easily in fact, but he does manage to get to Horus and return his eye. And these two unlikely partners embark on a quest to save Egypt and much silliness ensues. Like probably most of you, I was not expecting anything great from this movie and it seems like the movie theaters weren't expecting anything great either. The theater I saw this one at on opening day, they only had it playing in one theater out of about 20 that they had, just four showings in one day. Compare that to Deadpool at the time, which was in its third weekend, had four theaters total with 16 showings throughout the day. And it's not like Gods of Egypt was some tiny little independent movie. This thing cost $140 million to make and only made about half of that which the director blames on the critics being so mean with their reviews. Oh, we're just so mean. He even tried to claim the critics were always against him. All oh, the critics have always hated my movies. Yeah, except for The Crow, which was very well received. How'd you forget about that one? Mr. Proyas, the critics are not hating on Gods of Egypt because they have some vendetta against you or some hidden agenda. We're hating on Gods of Egypt because it's not very good. Deal with it. Now, if there's one word that has been used to describe this movie since long before it was even released to theaters, I suppose that word would be whitewashing. Because, yeah, when that first trailer came out and we saw a whole bunch of white people in a movie about Egypt, people were starting to ask questions, and rightfully so. And the weird thing is, it's not like it's all white people in the movie. There are actually quite a few black people in here. They're mostly background players, except for Chadwick Boseman, who plays the God of Wisdom, Thoth. But they're in there. They just chose not to put them in the trailer for reasons I can't even begin to imagine. They could have headed off a lot of this early criticism by just cutting the trailer differently. If I didn't know any better, I would almost suspect the marketing department wanted this movie to fail, but then I remembered this thing cost $140 million, and that's a lot of money to just throw away, so that's probably not the case. But even if we look past the Hollywood whitewashing, which is somehow still a thing in 2016, is the movie any good? Oh lord, no. No, 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 no. This was bad. This was really bad and really stupid. Now, just to make things clear, I am not an expert in Egyptian mythology, so I have no idea how close the story is to the actual myths. I'm just judging it as a movie. As a movie, it is stupid. Stupid as hell. When Set takes over Egypt and interrupts Horus's coronation, kills his brother Osiris and takes the crown for himself, he is met with virtually no resistance apart from Horus. Horus actually challenges him to a fight, but one-on-one -on -one, he is apparently no match for Set and gets his ass kicked. And the other gods just kind of stand by and let it happen. There's even a point where one of the goddesses whispers to him, Many will stand with you, Horus, but now is not the time. Why? Why is now not the time? Yes, Set has amassed an army, but it's an army of humans. He didn't have any actual gods on his side at the time. 
Alia could have just rushed him and taken him out, and that would have been the end of it. And they got a bunch of little human soldiers walking around. The gods are all 10 feet tall. Just punt him out of the way. It'd be like Sauron in Fellowship of the Ring. Just boom, boom. This would not be that difficult, but nope, they all just stand around with their thumbs up their asses and let the whole thing happen. And throughout the rest of the movie, Set just goes around picking off these other gods that oppose him one by one because they were all too stupid to unite and join forces to fight him. Gods are stupid. And the main human player in this movie, Beck, I mentioned his girlfriend whose name is Zaya gets killed off way too easily. It is laughably bad. It really is. After he steals the Eye of Horus, he breaks into the home of this big rich dude named Urshu, who is using Zaya as a servant girl, and gets her out of there, and they escape on a chariot. But as they're escaping, right the fuck out of nowhere, Zaya gets pierced by an arrow, which Urshu fires from at least a football field away, and just one shot and direct hit. I suppose it's technically not impossible, but that's a fucking one in a million shot, my god. And after they give Horus his eye back, you may recall in the trailer the gods are able to assume the forms of animals and Horus is capable of turning into a bird. But apparently he needs the magic of both of his eyes to do this, so when he gets just one eye back, it's not enough for him to assume his bird form again. But later on in the movie, he eventually does assume his bird form, just right out of nowhere, even though he didn't get the second eye back. Apparently, the eye had nothing to do with it. It's because he just didn't believe in himself. I expected to see a movie about ancient Egypt, and it turned into a fucking after-school special. The special effects in this movie are awful. The gods are all supposed to be about 10 feet tall and they're standing next to these 5 to 6 foot tall humans and they use a lot of green screen work to achieve this and it looks like ass. Total ass. And some of the CGI in this movie is just atrocious. I can think of one moment in particular when Beck was swinging on a rope from the roof of this building onto a cart that's in the street, and it was, like, asylum-level bad. And I don't know how you get that in a $140 million movie. The only thing I can figure is they were either behind schedule or just ran out of money, and they had to finish a few last-minute effects quickly and cheaply just to get the movie finished. Because I don't know how else to explain this. As far as the acting, for the most part, there's not really anything I can call attention to, good or bad. It was all just kind of okay, except for one person. Chadwick Boseman as Thoth, the god of wisdom. Oh man, he was a treat. He is Eddie Renmating the shit out of his performance. And God, I loved it whenever he was on camera. It's a shame he's only in a small part of the movie because the movie needed much more of him. I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more. I have no idea if Proyas actually directed him to act that way or if he just figured, you know what, I'm in a terrible movie. I might as well have fun with it. In any case, it is wonderful. Um, I'm hoping his performance in Captain America Civil War will be a little more subtle. <laughs> um, we'll see, because, yeah, trying to imagine this guy as Black Panther, hmm, I don't know. But in any case, I really enjoyed him in this movie. So here's my final verdict. It's bad, although there are times when it is at least enjoyably bad. But I don't know if there's enough of that to really give it a strong recommendation like I would for Jupiter Ascending or Pan, because it's not quite that level of ridiculous. A lot of it is just boring or stupid, unfortunately. Um, because it does have some of those funny moments in there, I can maybe recommend it for a rental, but that's about as far as I can go. But I know there are some people out there who did enjoy the movie. In fact, I overheard one person in the theater as I was walking out when the credits rolled. I overheard him say, that was awesome. Worthy of an Academy Award. He actually said that. I think he was being facetious. 
But nowadays, people's tastes are so weird, it's hard to tell sometimes, so who knows. In any case, that's about all I have to say about Gods of Egypt, so until next time, take care.